2006, there was a $14 million state government initiative to reopen and repair the pier. However, what makes this place truly unique is that the original pier was 590 metres long and the pier as it stands today is only 180 metres long of the original stumps left in the ground. Now what that's done, it's created an amazing ecosystem for a whole heap of different fish species. And when it comes to fishing, probably specifically snapper around here, even though you certainly will still, you will get brim, mulloway and flathead and everything that call that structure their home. So that's why that this place is so popular. It's great for photographers and it's certainly great for fishing because of all that structure left in the ground. Now today I'm just going to be doing two things. First, I'm going to head right up to those stumps and I'm going to hit that structure hard and see if I can entice some fish out of that zone. And then secondly, what I'm going to do is just going to head out into open water and just fish, drift around and see what we can find. Here's Port Melbourne, we've got all the high-rise buildings there and there's the part of the pier that was restored. So obviously a lot of people still land-based fish there but you can see right about there is the cut-off point to where they've left the original stumps in the ground and then you've got all this part here which is just absolute prime fishing. So as I said what we're going to do today is we are going to hit up Oh, look at that, actually marking fish right under us there, a big school or something. Um, actually going to uh, hit this structure up here. I'm going to be keeping a keen eye on my sounder. Now I have been keen. There's some new 4-inch jerk shads that were released the other day, which I haven't had a chance to try yet. So this is my 4 to 6 kilo Black Savage rod. I've gone a little bit heavier today. Really hoping we can maybe find some snapper that'll be the target species so i've gone a slightly heavier rod i've got 12 pound braid on that got a nice strong leader and as i said i've got that uh, nuclear chicken four inch jerk shad so that will be the game plan as i said i did definitely mark up some stuff out in the open there before but plan one is to really attack this structure in there oh yep 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 look at that okay it's on it's on it's on look at that right in the structure i've got a good fish straight away what do we got oh it's just not oh beautiful pinky beautiful pinky ah oh. <laughs> So this is what we came here for guys, right in the structure. Sorry guys, I uh, had the camera off then accidentally for a second, but I threw out a bait the second that I threw out a soft plastic. So look at that, we've got two fish on there. So this guy's taken a half pilchard. He's a tiny little guy. So there you go, there's one fish. And the other fish, which was a much bigger fight because I pulled him right way deep out of the structure. I'm sorry that I missed it on camera guys. I'm not. Not doing that great with my GoPro at the moment, so. But the one that I managed to pull, I basically cast right in there, 
Got him right out of the structure. Was this beautiful pinky here? And they're loving these four inch jerk sheds. So look at that there. That's a beautiful fish. Absolutely perfect. And he's nailed that. And that was a really hard hit. That was the one I really wish I got on camera. So sorry, guys. I'll have to catch a couple more. But there you go. Look at that. That is definitely a legal sized fish. Beautiful fish, but we're gonna let him go. We're doing just catch and release today, so see you later, mate. So, right about here, we've had some luck. Just for a bit of fun, guys, I'm gonna put another bait out behind us. Um, that first bait got hit in about 10 seconds, and that was the whole reason why I missed that other one on camera, was because uh, as I was casting it, I got a huge hit right within the structure. You can see we are marking up some stuff here, so. I think we're gonna do okay here. I need to in reverse. Be quick. Whoa, 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 whoa. Holy moly. Alright, we may have a snap. Alright, guys, I just put a bait out for a second. And this rod has just taken off. This rod has taken off, so we've got a good fish here. Oh. And the good thing is, it's dragging me away from the structure. Oh, I think this is going to be a, a good fish. Oh. Oh. oh, you're kidding me. It's a big snapper. It's a big snapper. Oh, no. Yes! Oh my goodness! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Oh! Sometimes fishing around Melbourne can be so unrewarding. You put in huge amounts of hours, and sometimes you, oh, sometimes you just don't get the fish. And today, oh, look at this fish! Calm down, mate. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> this is... So, guys, even though... Look at that! Yes! Even though I've been flicking soft plastics into the structure, I did a unweighted pilchard, or unweighted half a pilchard, just to the side of me. And it's really annoying sometimes because all you're doing is getting tangled. And I had that bait out literally for 30 seconds and... Thank you for coming. That is just perfect fish. That is exactly what I came here for. Uh, that's probably, I don't know, 55 centimeter snapper. And that is exactly what the day was planned for. That has absolutely made my morning. Now, the funny thing was, whilst I was onto that snapper, I saw my soft plastic rod, which was just sitting on the edge, and it was banging like crazy. And if you have a look, the soft plastic has been absolutely torn to shreds. There's nothing off it left. So it quite possibly could have been a double hookup of snapper there. But I was just very happy to get that one. This place is definitely now best accessible by kayak. And to literally go three or 400 meters offshore and you're fishing in 10 meters deep, monk structure is amazing. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, we've got a good fish on here, guys, again. I'm not sure what this is, but this has got a bit more fight to it. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that, look at that. First cast back in there. Ah, oh, he snagged me, I think. Right, right in the structure. So the tricky part often is getting your cast in the right spot. I might need to back it up just a tiny bit here. 
That's the nice thing about these 180 drive systems. Try and, oh, here we go, getting a bite. Yep, yep, yep. Look at that, oh, this is a good fish too. Look at that. All right, so. Oh, jeez, fight hard, those little pinkies. Gotcha. Not a big one, but that's good. Certainly not huge. That's just a beautiful 30 centimetre pinky. And look at that, a fish of that size just happily gulping a four inch jerk shad. It's crazy, isn't it? Oop. So we will definitely get, so there you go there guys, that's what we're on. We'll definitely get this guy on his way. See you later, mate. I tell you what, I'm really, really enjoying this style of fishing. Oh, look at that. Oh, jeez. I had a big hit then. Very lucky. Whoa, whoa. All right. I got a good fish. We'll get a good fish. All right, here we go. Oh, another pinky. So, it is handy having the bait rod out. So there you go, again, he's just a small, I think that's a size three-o hook, that one. And another beautiful little pinky. Jeez, these guys fight hard. You know, 30 centimeter fish like that. And, you know, happily taking half a pilchard. And they uh, punch well above their weight, these guys. So, see your buddy, he swims away. I've got a nice, cut in my hand as a souvenir. That just shows how nice it is. Look at all these paddle borders that have come out now, guys. Fantastic. Yep, got you again. Let's see if I can land it this time. Just a little pinky. All right, so on the drop is getting some fish now. I'm gonna have to watch how close we're getting to that structure. Reverse. I'm finding now just there we go, there's another little pinky. See you later, mate. Alright, so I'm finding now just see this is where side imaging would be really good. Okay, you can see a few little marks there, but side imaging here would allow you to see on both sides, you'd be able to tell what's within the structure and what's on the other side. So Guys, definitely looking at getting a sounder upgrade. As I said, at the moment, I think my heart's set on the Lowrance TI2 Elite 7. I think that'd be perfect here. Certainly a big upgrade to what I'm using at the moment. Uh, in the comments, guys, give us some suggestions on what you think would be a good option or what you're using, how you find it. Oh, no. Oh, lucky escapade. There we go, there we go. Deserved a fish after that great cast. There we go, pulled another pinky out of the structure. Might just net this one, just for, this is where you usually lose them. There we go, another 